Hello everybody and welcome to Ood Reviews. This week has finally seen the announcement of Nintendo's next console, the Switch. And while we've had a lot of rumours and stuff floating around over the past year, I've been waiting for the actual announcements before taking a look at it since I'm not a big fan of the rolling rumour mill, even if I do read all that crap anyway. Let's take a look. So, Nintendo Switch. It's a tablet console that can be docked to play on your TV, essentially. It's a logical evolution from what the Wii U has tried to do, and with Nintendo merging their handheld and home console development teams, having a single console to develop for is a big help for them considering the huge droughts in software the Wii U had. The games are running on cartridges, and this makes a lot of sense in a mobile device since large storage for downloads or installed games is too expensive or just too slow to run properly. A 500GB SSD will set you back close to £150, which is about half the cost of the Switch, and an M2 or an NVMe one is even more expensive, so this does explain the small 32GB capacity within the console. Honestly though, I do think this is going to be an issue. 64GB or 128GB should have been optional upgrades, and while an SD card slot is nice, they're not the most reliable or fastest forms of memory around. So so it's not ideal. Maybe for virtual console games it'll be okay, but for any full Switch games I think getting the cartridges will be the best option. The Joy-Cons look okay, maybe a little bit too small, and the right one has the control stick pretty much dead centre, which will be really weird to use for this local multiplayer Nintendo keep advertising. I can't see me using it like that myself, but it's still not a great design. Pro controller definitely seems like the way to go, but at £65 it's really expensive, especially with the Switch not coming with a game bundled. This means you've got £280 for the console, £60 for Breath of the Wild, which is already a tenner more than every other fucking game, and then £65 for the Pro controller. Are you serious? £405. The price is definitely going to be the biggest issue for me. The actual concept is great, the games are looking good so far, but it's just so expensive. All the accessories are £45 per Joy-Con? What the fuck? Why are all the games 60 quid as well? Even Old Man Skyrim is, which came out in what 2011? This is not going to work out well for Nintendo. I was looking at the £280 price tag and figured yeah that's not too bad, but now I've thought about it, £400 to get going is too much. Well you can take off the Pro Controller and that brings it down to £340 but that's still too much just to get the console going. 123 Switch should have been bundled in with the console really. Hell, if they put the WarioWare license on there and bundled it in with the console it would have worked out great at £300. On the plus side, the games are looking good. Mario Odyssey is looking great, Breath of the Wild is obviously going to be huge, Splatoon 2 is looking like a lot of fun as well. Unfortunately though, Mario and Splatoon are both more than 6 months away and this may leave the Switch short at launch, which is not what you want. Some people have mentioned this March release being a kind of soft launch where Nintendo get the consoles out to the big fans, get some software out there and then they'll start pushing bundles and sales towards Christmas. It could work out well and it did for the 3DS which sold really well after the price was cut but it is a very risky move. There are also a few games not mentioned in the press conference which are due to come out later on this year for the Switch like Stardew Valley which did exceptionally well in 2016 and Ukulele which is a big one for classic Nintendo games as it's the spiritual successor to good old Banjo-Kazooie. Third party games are obviously a big deal to any console and the Switch looks promising. We saw a list of the developers intending to make games for it, including the big names like Bethesda, EA, Ubisoft, and surprisingly From Software were on there as well, with rumours of a Dark Souls bundle. And all of this is good news. Looking at Eurogamer's article here, we've got 18 games for Spring 2017, which should be a decent number, and not all of them are shovelware as well, like Puyo Puyo Tetris as well. The games do need to come out quickly though, as third party support is a vicious cycle. If you have it, you'll sell consoles because of the extra games, and more consoles sold means the console is better value for the third party developers to develop for. Four. If you don't have it, you won't sell as many consoles and therefore be less likely to get any extra third party support in the long run because they won't make enough money to warrant porting a game over. Reggie has also let us know that there's going to be even more announcements between now and the launch date on the 3rd of March, so there's a lot more to find out. I'm really wondering if Nintendo will let us know if it's using a Pascal or Maxwell Tegra chip or if we'll just have to wait for a digital foundry teardown. So, summing up, I really like the concept. It looks comfortable and powerful enough, and while I'll be leaving it docked 90% of the time, it gives me the option to take it with me if I'm away for work or something. While my 3DS did that, I didn't want to play it at home because I wanted to use my TV. Unfortunately though, the price and number of games at launch worries me a lot, although it is looking like a decent trickle of games will be available as the year progresses. The conference said there's over 80 games in development at the moment, and we've only got names for maybe a quarter of these, so I'm very curious to see what else is on the way. Rocket League and Pokemon, please. Okay, so that's my rundown of the Nintendo Switch conference. I probably missed some stuff, but I just wanted to get my own key points down and keep it relatively short. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Too expensive, not enough games, let me know. If you like the video, please share it around as it's a big help, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe. See you guys next time.